what's up guys so in this video i'm going to show you how to automate so many different things on your device and the best part about it it doesn't require root and it's absolutely free so let's get started by the way it's not tasker the app is called macro droid and it's a free app so do check it out from the description right below that like button so the app is very simple and easy to use compared to tasker and the menus you get are macros add macros templates settings forum and import or export macros so we look at the other menus later first let's start with adding a macro so first you have to select a trigger and there's so many to choose from such as battery level calendar event time of day dial phone number headphone headphone inserted or removed screen unlocked and many more so let's select a simple one such as daytime trigger so first you have to select the days you want it to get activated let's just say weekdays and the time so i'm actually going to choose my sleeping time because that's what i want the macro for so let's just say 30 yeah then okay so now you have to add the actions you want to get activated when the trigger gets activated so again there's so many to choose from however like about one percent of them require root such as airplane mode or auto answer call but the rest 99 percent work without root so the actions i want are let's say call reject then let's look for another one such as mobile data so data off then let's say we have speak text yeah so here you have to assign it a text let's just say go to sleep i type really slow and then you can assign the pitch like if you're on a high pitched or low pitched voice and the speed then you can test it or just press ok and it will work out then you can also have Wi-Fi configure so just say disable Wi-Fi so there are so many others to choose from like the actions such as a screenshot take a picture or even tweet as you can see over here however you need internet for that so all of them there's so many of them to choose from. Choose the ones you want and you can choose as many as you want. After that you have to add constraints. So what this does is it disables the macro under certain chosen conditions. As you can see you can choose so many different ones. So let's choose one such as let's say roaming enabled. So when roaming is enabled this macro won't get activated. So you finish by clicking on the tick sign. Then you have to assign it a name let's just say sleep then okay and there you have your macro so you can add so many macros like that and you might have noticed how simple that process is even beginners can do it very easily so you can check out your macros from that menu for macros and you'll be able to see all the macros you have on your device and you can activate or deactivate them individually from here as you can see or you can just activate or deactivate all in general so let's look at the one for low battery as you can see, you can hear the, clearly see the triggers, the actions, and the constraints. And you can edit them from here. Let's just say, let's add another trigger. You see, you click on the plus sign and you can add one. You can also rearrange the actions. Let's just say brightness comes on top. And you're done. Then just click on the tick sign to save the changes. As you can see, I have around five different macros over here, such as flashlight, music, email, low battery. So next we have another menu called templates as you can see over here so what this does is that you have so many inbuilt templates which you can use instead of creating your own you can also view top rated templates like the ones other people have shared and then you can install them on this device and use them for your device then also the latest templates even you can share your own templates over here next we move on to settings so here there are so many things you can edit or change such as edit categories, edit macro droid modes and variables. You can also set the language used by the uh, speak text action. You can choose from English, French, German, Italian, Spanish. So let's just leave it English. And there are many other settings you can change over here. You can also change the actions over here such as where actions options see take picture action share last photo actions you can change all those actions 
So there are so many settings to configure which makes this app very customizable. So there's also a MacroDread forum where you can discuss with other MacroDread users and ask questions. There's also the option for import and export which allows you to transfer macros from the local storage to the, uh, to the application or you can share yours through this. So the possibilities with this app is unlimited. Like you can automate so many different things. However, this app is mainly for basic users and intermediate users. If you're an advanced user, you should rather go for Tasker as it has more options and you can do a lot on Tasker. So that was all for this guys. Thanks for watching. Hit hard on that like button and leave your suggestions in the comments below. Also subscribe to my channel if you want more tweaks. Over and out.